Hey guys, five things that really surprised me um, after coming out of my bachelor's degree in human health performance and a minor in coaching, after I got in the fitness industry, and there was a, a bunch of things really that, that took, me, took me by surprise. And one of the things that surprised me most was, you know, in my degree, we were basically told, taught that, you know, at some age, somewhere around 50 to 60, where people stop being able to make fitness gains, whether that was in strength or in conditioning numbers, um, that basically people leveled off and, and couldn't improve. And what's crazy is how much improvement still happens um, in, in practice out here on the floor, um, increasing in lean body mass, improving conditioning, and creating significantly larger gains in the, than were ever taught to us in, in my bachelor's degree. Um, so that was one thing that really surprised me. Something that surprised me even more than that and this happened to me personally, and then it happens every single time we run a nutrition challenge, it's just mind-boggling how much and how fast nutrition changes the game. I mean, when we're talking about body composition, when we're talking about strength gain or conditioning gains, it's insane how much nutrition changes it. And there, there was not one lick of that conversation that happened um, in, in my, my certification process, in my, in my degree, not one bit of it talked about it, and I gotta tell you, like, it's insane. So start paying attention to your nutrition. Uh, personally, it was a huge game changer for me. I was the bachelor type, like eating whatever it was fast and easy. And body composition wise, it wasn't a huge changer for me because I was already pretty lean. But what really did change was my strength and conditioning numbers went through the roof and really fast. Um, and it basically took me from like an average athlete to you know top 1% of people who cared um, if we're measuring by the CrossFit Games Open, and it was insane how fast it happened. Um, another thing that consistently, it doesn't surprise me anymore, but one of the things that um, was a surprise at the beginning is really just how much consistency matters, like showing up on a regular basis, like three, four days a week. Um, if, if there's an athlete who shows up three, three days a week, and does that for three years, there isn't a single fitness goal we haven't been able to get them to. Um, but at the same time, we'd have athletes who come for three or four months in a row, where they come in five days a week, and then fall off the face of the earth for two, three months. And it's just surprising how much huger gains that people can get just by being in regularly. Um, and like, that seems kind of counterintuitive that you would think that that's a surprise to me. Um, but like, you put in a lot of hard work in five days a week over the course of six months, like you would think that it would take you further, but consistency still rules over that. Um, another thing that really shocked me, um, and again, this one might be a counterintuitive, but like how much just doing really good movement improves your fitness. And like, you know, it, I've become, because I've seen it firsthand in myself and in some of my early athletes, it's really just something that, that I found to be more valuable than anything, more valuable than um, throwing more weight on the bar is just moving really well. And like what it ends up being that makes those gains happen is just called movement efficiency. And if you have a good coach, you can spot movement flaws. What they do is they get you fitness gains because of movement efficiency and it happens really quick. And so like what you do is you end up getting more out of every workout just because you move well. So that was a surprise. And then the last thing is, this is something that I've, I've learned to transfer, not just on the, on the fitness floor, but to other areas in life, whether it be personal, financial, relationships, is habits are everything. And you know, a small habit is not just, uh, like say a 10 minute habit a day of reading, is not just a 10 minute positive habit, it's, it's really a, a net 20. Because that 10 minutes that you were spending watching TV, is now gone, that would be a negative habit, and you add the 10 minutes as a positive, it's really a double, it's exponential growth. And if you do those small five to 10 minute habits every day, that's where huge gains are made over the course of a year, two years, three years, 10 years. And in order to have success, it's just about changing these little small habits and doing them consistently. Um, but it still, it still surprises me to this day how simple certain things are, but yet how difficult to implement. So anyways, I hope you guys learned something from my five surprises, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.